How to mod Halo 3. First of all, I'd like to say, do not put anything on your file share. As a no-no. First of all, we're going to need a flash drive. This is my flash drive. It can hold 4 gigs. I recommend at least 1 gig. Anything less will not work. The first thing you're going to do is take this and plug it into your Xbox. Once you plug it in, you should go ahead and go all the way over to System Settings. Go ahead and click that and go to Memory. You'll see there's two things, hard drive and USB storage device. When I go to USB storage device, click it and select configure now. It's a pop-up will come up and just select yes. Keep in mind this will erase all of your data that you have on the flash drive so if there's any important things you want to keep be sure to back it up on a computer or another flash drive or a CD or something like that before you do this. Once that's done you get another pop-up go ahead and click OK and it looks like you're ready to begin modding. So go ahead and go back to the dashboard and play Halo 3. Once it starts up you're gonna go through the loading screen and at the home screen of Halo 3 where you're gonna notice is there's a little thing telling you to pick a storage device. I recommend using the memory unit otherwise you just have to transfer the files over to it which is more complicated but not really all that complicated. Once you have that selected go ahead and go into Forge and select whatever map you'd like to mod I'm going to use Snowbound in this scenario. <clears throat> now just start putting down a bunch of objects you want to replace with other objects because that's essentially what modding is. I'll use power cores. Now I'm also going to place down plasma batteries to swap with something else. Alright, that should do it. Go ahead and save it as whatever you want it to be. Save as new map, hammer and anvil, blah blah blah. And there you have it. Go ahead and end the game. Now go ahead and remove your flash drive. Keep note, you'll get a pop-up asking you to select a device. Don't close it out. Go ahead and put it into a computer USB port now. As you can see, I have one available right there. Alright, now you might get a pop-up notification that you plugged in the flash drive. Go ahead and close that. And go ahead and open up the program I supplied, which would be export. Once export is open, select File, Open Drive, go to Data Partition, Content, a bunch of weird numbers, more weird numbers, and click on the more weird numbers. You'll see User Map and a bunch of numbers. Go ahead and drag that to your desktop. Go ahead and delete the other one. But keep the program open because we're going to need it again. Now go ahead and open up Forge 2.7. You go to File, Open, and you select your user map. Now I just swap out stuff with other stuff. Now I used scenery, and all the scenery is under block. So now I just gotta find it. Covenant Military Battery. I believe that's one of them. I'm gonna go ahead and swap this out with a biped, which is just a brainless kind of person that stands there you can kill him. I'm going to swap it out with Master Chiefs and click save. Alright, and I believe I found the other one so I'm going to go ahead and swap that out with a biped, this time of the monitor. Go ahead and click save. Once that's done you can go ahead and exit out. And the final program you want to open is Modio. Alright, I'm gonna go to this little icon right here and open file from computer and then select the, f the user map we just edited. Open. Now just click rehash and resign. You'll see right here it says rehash and resign. Now we can import it back into the flash drive. So go ahead and close out Modio. And now take 
the file and drag it over to export and it should copy into it like that then file close drive and you're ready to take the flash drive to the xbox alright so go ahead and remove it from your computer and then plug it into your xbox again you'll notice that the memory unit has popped up on the selected device go ahead and select it and I like to reselect the map just to be safe go ahead and start forge and see your handiwork honestly it's quite amazing how easy it is to mod and there we have it well you see fusion coils and fusion batteries are now brainless master chiefs and brainless monitors you can go ahead and have fun killing them destroying them and whatever but I would like to know and I can't stress this enough do not put modded user maps onto your file share no matter how much your friends beg don't do it, it can get you banned. This is C Squared with C Tutorials and Duality Studios on how to mod Halo 3. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and learned a lot. Now go get modding.